welcome to day number 24 of Vlogmas. The last day, oh my gosh, like yeah. We did 24 days of vlogging. That is an achievement for the second year in a row. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a really awesome endeavor. It's starting to turn into tradition. We'll see if it happens next year. Right now, I say I don't wanna do it because I'm tired, but that'll probably change. The big news today is Discmania has announced the new Cloud Breaker distance driver, DD3. And what I'm here to do is give you a review of it. I'm gonna do that after I throw eight Cloud Breakers, eight PD2s, and see where they land in comparison with each other. And I'll use the UDisc app to measure the furthest of each mold. So you'll see how far the longest PD2 throw goes and the longest cloud breaker throws to kind of give you an idea where all of them sit. So we're gonna jump into that and once that's over, I'm going to give a little bit more in-depth review of the disc and see what it might compare to and to see if it's the disc for you. So let's jump into the action right now. We're gonna start with PD2s. That's going to be hard to beat with a cloud breaker. Alright, now two of the longest flying runs. The new S-Line version, my Kono Peach Day run, and the latest version of the S-Line. Now for the cloud breaker. Yay. They're so much straighter. Take note that there's a little bit of headwind happening right now. Remember those shots Paul McBeth used to throw with his destroyer? Those little laser beam lines that don't come out at all? That's what I feel like with this disc. Let's walk to find out how far the PD-2 went. So the farthest flying S-Line PD-2 was this one. It went 498 feet uphill, a little bit of headwind, and just to give you an idea where the other ones went, there was one right there, some back here. A lot of them kind of pinched up against the fence because, you know, they're PD2s and they want to fade left. All these guys are in like the 460 mark, maybe a little bit less. Note that a lot of discs ended up on the left side here because, of course, it's a PD2 and it's overstable. 
it gives you kind of a good idea. And now let's walk off the cloud breaker's farthest throw, just to kind of give you an idea what we're working with. I, if you look, there was one right here, and the average cloud breaker throw was longer than the PD2. And notice that they all finished on the right side of, I guess, what we would call the fairway, and all the PD2s finished to the left. But it's not like the cloud breaker is understable, it's throwable. You can have it shape shots really nicely, very accurate but you get an insane amount of distance. Like I posted on a teaser or on a post saying that I'm getting 25 to 50 feet more. And that proves it right there. It's crazy. I don't even understand how we made a disc this good. Very excited about it. And that was uphill in a little bit of a headwind. I bet you I could get these things going even longer if I have some uh, downhill and some tailwind. So very exciting. All right, guys, so you got a good idea of what the Cloud Breaker is capable of. Yeah, it's it's really bananas. It's definitely a staple to my bag already. It's not going to take out the PD2, but it'll probably cut in half the PD2s I do carry. Like, you know those kind of flatter, gummy ones that I really enjoy? It's the first run of the S-Line PD2 where they stopped using the Chaos Stamp those are out of the bag officially because I have no use for them anymore with the cloud breaker. Basically, I'll probably carry three cloud breakers in the bag and three PD2s. Probably even gravitate more towards the cloud breaker just because it's a lot easier to throw. It's really shapeable and you didn't even see me throw any, but sidearms are bananas with these things. You can throw them so easily, they glide. It's just a really fun disc to throw. I'm very happy that Discmania was able to pull a disc like this off. Very exciting stuff. Is the Cloud Breaker for you? I'd say yes. So our goal with the Cloud Breaker was to make a driver where a pro can grab it and love it and a, I wouldn't say beginner, it's definitely not a beginner disc, but an intermediate to advanced player who wants to throw a disc hard and get more distance. Guaranteed this is the farthest flying disc in the Discmania lineup. I do not think you will be disappointed with how this flies. Even though it is a little bit more overstable than a DDX, it has a better push forward. So even if you're not getting the flip and fly like, um, like I was getting, you're still gonna notice a lot more distance with this disc. So. It compares to, if you've thrown a CD2, it's like that, but an extra, I don't know, 50 to 100 to 200 feet. You never know. So I bet you guessed it. The giveaway from yesterday is a cloud breaker. So we're gonna flash over to my house and I'll be announcing the winner of the brand new cloud breaker. Very excited about it. And yeah, let's go over there now. And we're back for one more juggling rally, and we're gonna be giving away this cloud breaker. But first, we juggle. And I've been practicing quite a lot. Kinda of got some tricks down. Let's see if we can make it happen. Oh yeah, we made it happen. Oh, under the leg, switch. Oh dude, just shredding it. The amount I have improved juggling this month has been really good, and a big part of that is the Boulder Movement Collective. But aside from that, yeah, it's been it's been fun. We're gonna give away this this here cloud breaker releases tomorrow on Christmas Day. It's gonna be really really fun. The winner of this cloud breaker goes to Zach Pegak. And the question I asked you guys yesterday is, what should we make for our vegan dinner on Christmas? And he wrote, the pat. McMash in honor of Pat and Pat Mashes. Chickpeas, obviously, sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, broccoli, cauliflower, onion, red pepper, and carrots. All cut up into manageable size pieces. Oil some tin foil and place ingredients on foil. Add salt and pepper and minced garlic. Lots. 
wrap up foil and grill for about 40 minutes. That sounds really simple and really good. We might have to try that, Zach. Yeah, congratulations on winning the Cloud Breaker. So I guess it's technically yours now. So that means you're the first owner of a Cloud Breaker that isn't on Team Dismania. So congratulations, Zach. If you want this disc, please message me on Instagram or Facebook. And yeah, guys, Merry Christmas. 24 days of Vlogmas, we're coming to a close. If you want vlogs in January, either weekly or bi-weekly vlogs uh, to kind of catch up on what I'm doing, what I'm training, seeing what progress I'm making, in order to see that, have this video reach 1,000 likes. So smash the like button. Let's see if we can get 1,000 likes and I'll make those vlogs happen. Guys, I really appreciate the continued support and all of you chiming in every day on Vlogmas looking to win discs. We averaged over probably 250 comments per video, which is crazy, and I could not be happier. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you guys have a very happy holiday on whatever you celebrate. So, guys, thanks for the support, I'm talking in circles, but I really mean it. Till next time, guys, keep on dreaming, and peace.